Good morning, modern steaders. 65 degrees out this morning at 6 a.m. Look at all the snow we melted, guys. Morning, Figaro. We have like no snow left, just a little bit of snow banks. Wow, it's crazy what can happen overnight. This weather shifted and now they're calling for rain and thunder and lightning storms today. I'll take it. <laughs> What are you girls doing, huh? Huh? Gonna let Hope out this morning. Come on in, Hope. You coming out? Come on. There you go. Come on in. Ready to get fed, girls? Come on. You're putting some good weight on there, Hope. You're getting pretty big. That's a good thing. You wanna go back over and have some more breakfast? Go ahead. Have some breakfast. You're behaving yourself? Yeah. You are, huh? You are. What is that, Hope? No, you don't like Figaro? She's like, I don't know what to think about that cat. A lot of the mud that we have right now is inevitable because it gets frost in the ground, especially the goat pen. We shoveled off the snow and the goats have trampled it down through the winter. It gets more and more frost, ice in the ground. And then it defrosts and the more it defrosts, the more mud it makes and the mushier it gets. Oh, it's nice and it's a little breezy today, which is nice. That should help dry it out also. And I'm hoping we don't get too much rain. In a few days, the whole film is going to be taking a road trip to where they built this barn. I'm hoping that video will be up in a week. That's the goal. I can't wait to see that. And I think it's going to be such a learning experience for Olivia to be able to see all of that. I know it's going to be a huge learning experience for me. I'm excited to see how they build the kit. And it's not even just the kit. There's a lot of other things going on at this factory. I can't wait to see it and to show you all. Starting to see a little bit more green in the grass every day, which is nice. What are you two doing over there? Huh? Come on, Pluto. Figaro. Listen to all those birds, Pluto. Come on. Let's go. We're gonna be able to candle these eggs one more time in a day. Meat birds are looking good. Oh, you knew I was getting in there, didn't you? For the first five days to a week, I want to keep 
feed in front of them 24 hours a day. And then after that, I'm going to cut the feed back so they have it in front of them 12 hours a day. These birds grow so fast. If you give them constant feed, they end up growing way too fast. There we go. Their water dish is staying nice and clean. I don't think they drank all their water yet, but we better double check. Plenty of water in there still. We got honey and apple cider vinegar mixed in with their water. That water smells really good. I wouldn't mind having a drink off of that. Today we're gonna make some blueberry cinnamon rolls. I got half a cup of warm milk with two tablespoons of melted butter. I might have messed this up, guys, but we're gonna find out. You're supposed to just warm your milk, but so if I get to melt my butter, I might as well melt my butter in my milk, right? I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of dry yeast, and I'm gonna let it proof for about five minutes. Once it's proofed for five minutes, I'm gonna stir in my sugar. One egg. Then I'm gonna slowly add in two cups of flour. We've been dancing with our eyes from across the room. I've been calculating strategy when to say hello. I've been waiting for my moment. Someone swooped in and stole me. Oh no. That looks nice. Still a little sticky, but we want to make sure it's soft. That's perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in a bowl so the dough doesn't stick to the bottom. Shape the dough into a ball. I'm gonna cover the bowl with a towel and I'm gonna let this sit until it doubles in size, about two hours. Well, it's raining out pretty good. Let's see how the rainwater collection system's working on the pasture pig mobile. I can hear water filling up. I can't tell if it's up to the bung yet or not, but we're getting there. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> nice. <sighs> can't wait to get the pigs here and try it out. See if they break it off or not. Guess we'll find out. This one's nice and sturdy. This is the only one that they might be able to... Time will tell. We had a vet come out and check on our goat herd the other day. I'll put a link to that video right here. When they were here, they did a complete health checkup on the goats. They did vaccines on the goats. They checked Willow over because she's pregnant. They gave Willow an ultrasound. We had a lot of people asking us what that cost, and at the time, I had no idea because we hadn't got the invoice. We have the invoice now, and like I promised you, we'll go over it and I'll tell you what it ended up costing us. They also checked out our new goat, Hope, that we got from Weedem and Reap. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, or if you don't know where Hope's journey began, I'll put a link to a playlist right here. All of our goats got a CD and T vaccine, and we also did a rabies vaccine on them. 
in our area, there's a lot of rabies in the wildlife, so we wanted to make sure everything is safe. We also had the vet draw blood so we could send the blood into the labs and get some test results back. And the vet also taught me how to draw the blood, and I drew the blood on Willow with full success. We also ended up getting a, I'm not going to say it, B-O-S-E vial, Boise, which is selenium and vitamin E, which can be a very bad deficiency in goats depending on where you are. Our soils are selenium deficient. Where Willow is pregnant, she's going to be kidding pretty soon. If the kid comes out of Willow, one of the big signs of their selenium deficiency is, is they can't walk really good and their legs get spread and they want to fall down. And if they're not nursing or suckling good, you know they're selenium deficient. So we also ended up getting some syringes if we need to inject or when we need to inject the Boise. You need a prescription to get the Boise. I, I know that's not how you say it guys, but it's something like that. I'll let you see what it says on the label, so if you want to look it up, you can. And then, it's hard getting syringes now, depending on the state you're in. So they even sent us up some, some syringes, because I asked for them. So with all that, and they traveled here. One of the pots that I really enjoyed, they had a veterinarian student with them. So during the video, if you watch it, you can hear them talking back and forth and taking teaching moments. And that's awesome because that's more I get to learn. So I was excited about that. So all totaled, it was $219 for them to come out, check over the herd, vaccinate them, do an ultrasound on Willow. We got the syringes. We got the BOSE. I was surprised by the price. I thought it was going to be more money than what it turned out being. That includes the, B, the Boise. So I'm happy with this. It's hard to say what it would be in your area. Um, we had the vet call, so the travel time from where they are to us was 60 bucks, and they're about a half hour to 45 minutes away, so I didn't think that rate was bad. Service time, looks like they charged us for two and a quarter of hours, and that was 78.75. That was a great price. The Covexin, looks like they charged by the CC, so that was $12 for all the goats. Some other large animal dose was... 1950. I don't know how you say it. There's another large animal dose here. I don't know how to pronounce it. That one's 1950. Um, one for Hope was the Defensor. That was seven dollars. The BOSC 100 milliliters is 35 bucks, and then the syringes were two dollars and seventy cents for nine of them. I don't think that's a bad price at all. This is our first time here using a large animal vet before we had horses. That was years ago. I don't remember what the expense of a vet coming out for those was, but leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what your vet charges for rates, if you think that was a good rate we got to have the whole herd checked over or not. I, I'm happy with it. I think it's a very good price. We won't be afraid to call them back out if or when we need to. For the filling, we're going to need half of a cup of brown sugar. One tablespoon of cinnamon. Going to give that a little mixy mix, get it all stirred up. Oh, smells so good. Four tablespoons of softened butter. Now that our dough is double in size, we want to flour our workstation. Get our dough out. I want to roll the dough out so it's around 12 inches by 18 inches. It'll make it a lot easier when we're making our rolls to have it uniformed.
Yeah, that's not enough butter. We need more. frozen blueberries and lay them across. I'm using the small wild blueberries. The big ones might be kind of hard to roll up. Last time we made this we did blackberries. That was delicious. Curious to see how it is with blueberries. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away For it sinks in And you dream about This very night When the moon runs down The summer sky Could it be the morning Of the spring When the sea runs dry When the to have heard from the sky all about it down the river high tide. I just checked the weather station before we came out. It said we've gotten a half inch of rain so far today. I wonder how full our barrel is. I don't know if it's high enough for this yet. Let's see. That's right, I don't have that nipple in. So if I turn that valve and it's take that out it's just finger tight if I turn this valve nope not enough water if I put my hand on the outside I can see where we are right here so right up to that rib and that's just barely too low. Let me shut this before we lose all the water if we get more rain. And then hopefully tomorrow we can check it and see. I think it's time to retire this camera that we're shooting on. Uh, we've had it for a year now and we're starting to get quite a few malfunctions on it. I have another camera that I ordered. I've just been holding out to swapping and I think now is the time to do that before we lose video footage. <sighs> so in the next video, hopefully we'll be using a new camera. You being good to Hope Willow? I see Hope in there. She's hiding under the milk and stand. You being bossy? You like being able to hide under that milk and stand? They can't get you under there, can they Hope? Somebody's been eating lots of seaweed. I'm coming over to say hello. Willow, you be nice. Wait till you have your babies. You wanna go in the back room? Get away from the meanies? They want, she wants to get away from you meanies? I'd let you in the back room, Hope, but I think but we need to let you stay out here and get used to the girls. You're okay. Yeah, it's okay. You don't need to go back there right now. I'll let you stay out till tonight. Then tonight I'll let you in the back. Behave. I'll be back out later. Be a goat. Be a good goat. Coming out to eat some hay? I don't blame you. I think a lot of our water issue from here and here is coming from that big giant snowbank melting and some could be coming from the rain coming off the roof of the outdoor kitchen. 
right down here. Those are gonna have to be some things we keep in mind as we redo some stuff this summer on the homestead. So it's good to be watching the lay of the land when we're getting a lot of rain and during the spring melt to see how everything works. I will say this didn't have any water in it earlier today. You chickens look like wet rats. You been playing out in the rain? I thought you would have gone in. I wonder how your rain barrel's doing. Moose, you keep attacking me and you're not gonna be on the homestead very long, dude. Yep, this rain barrel is filled right to the top. Moose is lucky he's a small rooster and he can't get me up high. It's the second time he's attacked me in the last couple of days. I hear a little <laughs> on my rubber boots. <laughs> yeah, you're being a little overprotective of your girls. Wow, we got quite a few eggs today. <coughs> now that our cinnamon rolls have doubled in size, we're going to bake them in our oven that's been preheated to 350 for 10 minutes. Oh, those look so good. I can't wait to try them. Only if you could smell them. Well, after editing today's video, we'll be using the new camera in tomorrow's video for sure. There's a couple of video clips we didn't get throughout the video, but there's at least two or three clips that didn't get recorded at the end of the video. So I'm sorry for that. It's a little abrupt of an ending. Tomorrow we'll be using the new camera, so we shouldn't have those issues. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, sticking out with us through the thick and thin, no matter what's going on. Thank you for that. We all need to learn to embrace our weird. It makes us who we are, and it keeps everything fun. I don't want to be normal. Do you guys want to be normal? Nah, that'd be boring. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.